All right, hi again. Welcome back. Attorney Steve Vondren. We are talking in this video about Masterfile. So you may have got one of those letters from Masterfile. I'm here on the Pacer case locator. And you may be asking yourself, is this real? Is this a scam? Um, you, and and what, what I mean by that is you may get a letter by a company called Artist Defense that says we represent Masterfile. Masterfile has images and you've used one of their images on your website and you need to pay up. For example, maybe you need to pay up $1,400 or something for a photo or an image and you're going, is this even real? I can't even tell if this is real. Well, one of the things I tell clients is I said, you have to go in here to the PACER online federal court system, find out if they're filing lawsuits. So I come in here, I logged in with my account. And as you can see here, Masterfile, as of 2017, has filed lawsuits for copyright infringement for photos. So it is a threat you need to take serious. And you can see the most recent one here from 2017. So I'll go ahead and click on that. And you can come here and find out all sorts of things about the case. Here's some information on the attorney. This is Burns, Burns, uh, Burns Law Firm here, it looks like, Burns the attorney. Um, and that they're representing Masterfile, the plaintiff. So you can come back here, you can click on the history, you can take a look, run the query, and see the different documents that may have been filed in the case. If you got to actually hit the button for it to work. So here we go. Here's the complaint. You can see civil cover sheet, some exhibits. Sometimes I'll take a look and see what that exhibit is. Probably the picture here. So let's take a peek. So you may look here. What do we got? Registration. Okay, so this is maybe their registration for the copyright. So usually I look to see if I can get a picture in here of what their issue is. Okay, so I don't see a picture, but let's come back and let's come over here and let's just, you can view the complaint. So this is an 11 page complaint, view the document, buck 10 is the charge. And you can come down here and see what the allegations are. This is master file versus this corporation and an individual. It's a complaint for direct and vicarious copyright infringement. So you can come down here and see I'll be darned, they do file lawsuits. So here you have Plaintiff Master Files, a Canadian corporation in Toronto. You can come back and look at some of this if you want. I'll, I'll just go by briefly. Um, I usually try to go right down to the operative facts. And there's your image right there. You can see the zebra and the wildebeest photo. So um, what typically happens is they try to get the case settled. If they can't get it settled, you may find yourself right here fa facing a lawsuit for the use of just one image. Just one image. So it doesn't have to be extensive use. Um, but at any rate, you can go down and here's, um, I guess that's the photo. And you can see what it is here. And as you go down to the bottom, you can see they're alleging, here's your claim, direct copyright infringement. Come on down. You can read some of that if you want to. Uh, second claim, vicarious copyright infringement. And then you could go to prayer for relief. As you can see, as I tell people, which is kind of surprises a lot of people, um, when you have a registered copyright, the plaintiff can seek statutory damages up to $150,000 for willful infringement of a photo. Now, I know that sounds crazy. But that's the law. Now, that doesn't mean that's what you're going to pay. Obviously, you're going to try to settle that case out for less. But this does show you, this is, you know, sort of proof positive that if you received a letter from Artist Defense claiming they represent Masterfile, you know, it is something that you do have to take a look at. <clears throat> As I like to mention, you want to make sure it's not a scam. You want to make sure it's not somebody pretending that they're the company and you're sending in credit card payments and you're actually just paying somebody in Nigeria or something for that matter. So you want to be careful, but this video here, yes, Master File Corporation does file. You can see one, two, three suits, uh, two suits in 2016, three suits were filed in 2015, four suits filed in 2014, and you can see the different courts that they're filed in. So if you need help with a copyright issue faced with litigation, somebody's infringing your copyrights and you want to put a stop to that, give us a call. We are a copyright law firm. We can help you. Okay. You can find out more information about us and our services at attorneysteve.com. Have a great day, y'all.